Hi everybody, Sandy again. We're gonna do a swipe painting. This is the one I talked about with the plastic in my previous videos that I forgot to show. So this time we're gonna do the whole thing. This is a 10 by 20 canvas with the white acrylic already on there. I'm just gonna give it a little torch to get some of the bubbles out. And then we'll get started. This is a really easy painting to do and real quick, so this video shouldn't take long at all. Alrighty, so I'm just going to mix a number of different colors, lay them out across the top of my canvas here. I'm going to start with navy. I'm just going to draw a line right across the top. Then I'm going to do some fuchsia. I'm going to put it right beside the navy, almost right on top, just layering it a little bit. Then I'm going to take some of my lavender. And I'm just going to do that with a few different colors. Let's go with deep turquoise. So we all know that's my favorite. And we'll do some sky blue. And I think I want to have a little bit of bronze in there too. So I'm going to put some bronze in. I dripped a little bit of blue down here or a little bit of green, one of the two, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to be doing that end as well. And one more color, what should we pick? Hmm. Did we do the brilliant blue yet? No, we didn't. Let's do brilliant blue. All right, so there's my color picks for this end. And I'm just going to take a piece of plastic that's got lots of paint on it because I use it all the time. And I'm going to just drag it right down my canvas far as I want to go with it, probably about halfway. Just going to slowly drag it. Trying to go straight, but it is a little bit of a wiggly line. That's okay. I'm just going to go all the way to the end, actually. I got enough paint on here to do that. I'm going to go all the way to the end. There we go. Just wipe off the plastic. And we're going to do this end. Drag it slowly. That's looking really cool. Keep going all the way to the end. All right. Wipe off my plastic. Let's torch it and see what's happening here. Now the torching brings up the cells from the glue and water mixture that's in the paint. really cool okay so we're gonna let that sit for a minute and I notice there's a couple areas here that don't have paint that's gonna bug me so I gotta decide what I want to do to get some of that paint going I'm just gonna put my finger in there and try and get some of that paint moving maybe do a little bit of a design oh that looks cool Okay, I'm going to go right across the painting doing that. Alrighty. I got more happening down here that I'm not crazy about, so let's 
get a little bit more of the paint color a little bit of personality to that that looks really neat wow okay so I'm going to do one more section up here kind of keep it even a little bit that looks really cool I don't know if you can see it as well as I can but very neat now I think I'm going to use my comb and just go down a little bit all the way down squiggling a bit down to the section I just did with my fingers just to have it kind of line up a little bit with what I did. That looks so cool. Okay, let's do this one too. Very unique painting. All right, I think I'm going to leave it just like that. I'll try and turn it. without wrecking it. Look at that. I'll have to show you it once it's dry. But that looks really neat. I'm going to dab my finger up at the top here. Just a couple of white areas that I think need some color. Do it right across the top. That is so cool. Okay, I'm going to do one last thing because I think this needs some lines up here too. So I'm just going to drag it a little bit. And then we'll be calling it done. All right. Yes, for sure. That's officially my masterpiece for today. Thanks for joining me, everyone.